Hello ladies and gentlemen, in today's video we'll be test driving one of the most popular PowerPoint templates currently, the Xnode, and at the same time we'll be creating some amazing PowerPoint animations such as floating iceberg. Let's go! So usually when I'm looking for PowerPoint templates, I go to graphicriver.net by Envato. But today let's actually check out another website by Envato, which is called Envato Elements. And here we can find more PowerPoint templates. That's super duper awesome. So let's just go to browse section and here we can see presentation templates, uh, Google Slides, Keynotes, PowerPoints. Envato Elements is a subscription based website so once we are subscribed we can download as many PowerPoint templates as we want. That's awesome. So let me quickly grab the, the subscription and I will pay for the whole year and save 50%. That's beautiful. By the way, if you would like to check out Envato Elements, link is in the video description. Alright ladies and gentlemen, so now I have the subscription and we can download 31,000 presentation templates, that's really beautiful. Actually PowerPoint templates, we have 15,000 and let's check the PowerPoint templates because we are interested in PowerPoint templates. And here as we can see, uh, templates are sorted by popularity and in the first place we have the Xnode PowerPoint template. Actually, I saw that there is Xnote Volume 2, so I guess the updated version. So let me just type in Xnote in the search bar. And yes, here it is, Xnote Volume 2 PowerPoint template. So let's just check out this one. I guess this is the newer version. That's beautiful. And let's click on Download and download those presentation files to our computer. Alright, so let's open up the presentation file and as you can see it is a zip file, so let's unzip it and inside we can see some widescreen templates, some standard screen templates. So let's just open up widescreen and choose this dark version, PPTX 16 by 9. Alright, let's maximize PowerPoint window and let's play this template on the full screen so that we can check out what this template has to offer. So as you can see we have this dark theme, this dark version, so that's beautiful. We have a nice color palette, some gradient icons, some charts, and as you can see we have some image placeholders that we can fill with pictures, that's beautiful. We can as well jump to slide sorter view and quickly scan through all of the slides as well. So as you can see, we have some icons, that's always useful. We have some image placeholders, some device mockups. That's super duper useful. All right, ladies and gentlemen. And in today's tutorial, I would like to give you some animation tips on how to use animations in PowerPoint, especially if you're just starting out to use PowerPoint. Because I have checked out these slides and I can see in the animation pane that there are no animations. So I will show you how we can animate these icons so that they appear one by one. But before we jump to animations, let me show you how we can add a background picture. So as you can see, this is image placeholder. We can click on this image icon and we can choose any picture that we want. For example, these beautiful mountains from unsplash.com. And by the way, if you insert a photo, and it looks something like this, like your photo is in the front, you can always select it and send it to back. Just uh, send it to back and it will be looking beautiful. Just like this. Alright, so the first step before starting to animate these icons and these text boxes, let's uh, select all of them with the shift key and let's group them into one group. So let's select them all, right click and choose group. You can as well uh, use uh, shortcut keys to group uh, these objects together. Uh, make sure you select the text boxes and the shapes. That's beautiful. And now we should have four groups, four separate groups. That's beautiful. Okay, so let's select the first one and let's go to animations and let's find animation which is called float in animation. So let's choose direction, float down. We can preview it, how it looks like. That's beautiful. And now we can basically select this group, we can choose animation painter and we can paste this animation to the rest of the groups. That's awesome. 
And as you can see, all of these animations are starting after a click. So let's give it a full screen preview. So let's click once. And we have the first group appear, second click, the second group, third click, the third group, and the fourth click, and the fourth group comes into play. So we can actually select second, third, and fourth groups, and we can make them to appear after previous, which basically means we will click once, and all of the animations will appear one by one. So keep in mind that you can start your animations with a click or you can choose after previous or with previous. Just experiment with them. All right, so in this case, let's animate these charts. So now all of these elements are grouped together. And as you can see, you can edit these shapes. So let's just select this group and let's ungroup it. Because now we will select each of these uh, spiky charts and we will uh, group them together with the corresponding percentages. Just like that. Alright, and now let's select the first group and add some animations to it. So once again we can use floating animation. I think it suits uh, really well. Floating animation. Let's choose direction flow down. Let's give it a preview looks beautiful and now we can use the animation painter and paste this exact animation to the rest of the groups all right and as you can see all of these animations are starting on a click so that's awesome and let's give it a preview on the full screen so click once click twice and so on and you will get your beautiful spiky charts And let me show you how we can add this background picture. So let's just copy this picture from the previous slide and paste it right here. All we have to do now is just to send this uh, picture to back. So one way to do it, we can go to selection pane, select this picture placeholder and just drag it to the bottom. That's beautiful. So let's give it a preview. And by clicking, we are getting these animations. That's awesome. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Now, let me show you how we can animate these bars. So first of all, let's just add some photos for these uh, team members. By the way, if you would like to adjust how your photo looks inside of the cropping area, you can click on the crop and you can adjust the size of your photo, the positioning of your photo. And once you're happy, just click on crop again. All right, so let's select this first uh, blue bar. Let's go to animations. And in this case, uh, let's uh, use animation, which is called wipe. Let's choose direction from left and let's give it a preview. Looks good. It's wiping from the left side. That's awesome. All right, and now let's select this text box. 70 and let's add animation to it as well and for this text box let's use fade animation and let's make sure that it starts after previous which means that the first animation plays and then this text box appears so let's uh, preview it on the full screen as you can see the blue bar comes and then the text box 70 that's awesome all right ladies and gentlemen and once again we can use the animation painter to speed up the process select the first bar and just uh, paste its animation to the rest of the bars and do the same with the text boxes and we can check it out what kind of result do we get on the full screen so here comes the first bar with the first text box then the second bar and the second text box and the third bar and the third text box and in the same fashion you can animate the rest of the elements easy peasy lemon squeezy all right the next animation tip is related to slide transitions as you can see in this case we have transition called a switch which is activated and as you can see the slides are switching from one to another and this way we're getting this beautiful animation 
And the next slight transition that you should know about is push, because with this transition you can create beautiful timeline animations. As you can see in the first slide we have this white line which goes to the second slide and then it goes to the third slide. And with the help of the push transition we can basically animate these three slides and they will look as if they are just one continuous slide. So that's beautiful. Alright ladies and gentlemen, and the last animation that I would like to teach you in this tutorial is how to make this iceberg float in the water. <laughs> That's really fun animation. So first of all, let's just select this blue rectangle and hide it in the selection pane. And let's select these ripple shapes and let's hide them in the selection pane as well so that it's going to be easier for us to work with the iceberg. So as you can see, the iceberg is made out of two shapes. So we have to select both of these shapes and group them together so that we can animate it. All right, let's select the iceberg and let's go to animations and let's choose path animation and let's choose line. That's beautiful. And as you can see, we have green bubble and the red bubble. So green is the starting position, the red is the ending position. And let's just drag this red bubble closer to the green one because we just want this uh, animation to be subtle. So as you can see now the iceberg just goes down and we would like this iceberg to go up as well because uh, we want to replicate the floating animation just like this. That's awesome. And as well in the timing options we can uh, set this uh, animation to repeat until the end of slide. So it's going to be continuously repeating, continuously floating. That's awesome. Okay, we can just zoom in a little bit and we can move this red bubble even closer to the green one so that this animation, floating animation, will be even more subtle. Just like this, beautiful. And we can preview it on the full screen. So as you can see, after we click, the iceberg goes down and then it goes up. Goes down and it goes up. It's beautiful. Alright, we can go back to selection pane and we can unhide the uh, blue rectangle which represents the water. This is how the animation looks like. Alright, I think we can just move this iceberg a little bit upwards just like this. Alright, now let's unhide the ripple shapes. Let's select this uh, ripple shape on the left side and let's apply Grow Shrink animation to it. Uh, let's make sure it start with Previous, which means it starts uh, with the first animation. Alright, in the Effect Options, let's choose Horizontal. So this ripple shape will be growing horizontally by 140%. That's awesome. And let's make sure it has Smooth Start, Smooth End and that it auto reverses and that it repeats until the end of slide. All right, let's give it a full screen preview. Let's uh, click once and as you can see, when the iceberg goes down, the ripple expands and then it goes up when the iceberg goes up. That's physics, ladies and gentlemen. All right, and once again, we can use the animation painter to speed up the process. So let's select this ripple shape on the left side, use the animation painter and paste it to this one on the right side and to this one in the center. Okay. Everything's looking beautiful and let's check it out on the full screen. So all of the three ripple shapes are expanding and the iceberg is floating up and down. So that's beautiful. Okay, and I just uh, can't leave these, uh, you know, text boxes alone as well. I just, uh, I just need to animate them, so I just quickly group them into three groups. And we'll just add some fly-in animations from the left side. Alright, and this is the final result. The iceberg is floating and the text boxes are flying from the left side. So, ladies and gentlemen, now you know what you can expect to find in Envato Elements and now you know how you can animate icebergs in PowerPoint. So, I hope you have enjoyed watching this tutorial and I'll see you in my next video.